This is a planter, and you can make it in one throw. I learned this from another pottery teacher, and I love how we can pass things on to each other to make something that really doesn't take too long and can be really useful. There's something really hopeful about seeing things grow, and to make something like this, where the water is meant to drain out and not let the roots rot, something cheery you can add to the classroom, you can add to your home, you can just experiment with different seeds you see nearby, save seeds. Anyway, let me show you how to make this. Take your ball of clay and just throw it in the center like usual. The, the method that I've shown in my other videos is my left hand is like a wall, right hand like a ceiling, leaning into it. I would add that I have about 70% of my weight through my left hand, 30% through my right hand with centering. A lot of clay to let it slide. And I'll do that a few times till I get it centered. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a bowl, but I'm gonna leave a little bit extra room on the foot and then bring that out later. That's the idea behind it. So, so far, this is just regular. I'm gonna drop my thumb in the middle. Switch hands, start to open it up with my right hand. Making sure I let my hands go gently to make sure it stays in center. I can use a small sponge like this to help with the form as well. We know that sponges won't catch. I'm aiming toward the blade of my left hand to go for basically a bowl shape. And I use this sponge as a way to take up some of that water in the middle. So right now the edge of my pot is right about here. I've got, I've got at least an inch underneath and I've saved that foot, that thick foot, so I can now pull it out. So now I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna use the edge of my fingers. I'm gonna lean it right on the side over here and I'm gonna make an indent and then I'm gonna pull out a little bit, almost like I pulled out this ridge right here. So here I am leaning into it a little bit with my fingers creating a bit of a divot. This might make it so you have to recenter the top, that's okay. You can also use a sponge to go in here. And now right now it's kind of like a goblet type shape, but from here I can dig in a little bit with my left hand and here I'm gonna pull out that section. So it's like a cup within a cup. Some people do it like that on purpose too. Like maybe you've got a, a salsa tray. It's going a little crazy around that, that rim right there. So I can trim that up. But here, let me take this off and show you. See, I've got that tray right there. The tray is going to automatically be a part of it. Now for this, I'm not going to need to trim that foot afterward. I won't need to flip it over. Now I bring out the special tool for this. It's a straw. It's one of those bendy straws, an articulated straw, and you can even get a special angle. And while it's still really wet, you just poke through and take those sections of clay, and this will be a perfect hole for drainage. So I'm going to stick it through. You can see where it starts to poke through right there. And I'm just gonna make at least three, maybe four for this size, holes. Like that, that pattern right there. And now it's got automatic drainage. I don't need to worry about carving the foot. It's gonna stay bisque where I'm gonna fire like this, that way um, I won't glaze it so it's not gonna retain water. Water will be able to breathe through there, give you air for the roots. It's a nice piece, it's a quick throw and has a lot of good uses. There we have it.